Hello everybody and welcome to my 6th uh, Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. And this tutorial is going to start showing you how to use variables. So variables are a key part of pretty much every program you're ever going to write. Um, if you've done any programming before you know, you'll know how essential they are. Um, and what a variable is, is it's just a, a place for you to store information. Um, outside of your spreadsheet that, that your code can can then manipulate um, so I'm going to create a new sub and it's going to be called uh, sub, um, sub input um, oh. and uh, you can't put input because it's an actual word. Sub input user. So we're going to use, um, we're going to create our variable. So the first variable I'm going to create is going to be a, um, just, just not to find one. So it's going to be able to take any kind of value. So dim, uh, any val. Um, so uh, dim means uh, dimension, I believe, um, and it's just what you put before your your variable to say, right? I'm dimming this variable. This variable is going to exist. I'm going to use it somewhere in in my um, in my code. Now you don't want it to be any value really, because um, that's that's just messy. It takes up a lot of memory. Um, and it's just considered bad practice because it can convert things in ways you don't want it to. So you want to declare your variable type. Um, so I'm going to declare this any val as integer. Um, and an integer is just a whole number. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, but you can't have numbers like 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 and so on. Um, I'll show you how to do them uh, when we come on to, to later tutorials. Um, so I'm going to rename it, so I'm going to call it num1 and I'm going to create another one, so num2 as integer. Now you can do it in one of two ways, you can either put them um, separate lines like this um, or you can actually, you can go comma, um, comma num3 as integer. Now one important thing to remember, and if you've used other languages, you can in other languages you can normally leave out this as integer and it will declare them both as integers. But VBA is a little bit annoying in that for every single variable you um you declare, you have to say what type it is. So even if you put them on the same line, um you still have to say what what um what type they are um, otherwise it will just declare the first one um, as a or any fits all one um, and th and then that's going to make your program less efficient than it could be let's just have num1 and num2 and then what we're going to do is we're just going to prompt the user to enter what num1 and num2 are so we're going to make it uh, num1 we're going to assign a value that the user's input so we're going to put an input box um, and then we're going to have, uh, it takes quite a few different parameters, but we're just going to put one in the first one because the other ones are all optional. And we're just, this is just going to say, put please input your first number. And then copy this. And then num2 equals please input your second number so what this is going to do is it's going to ask the user for a number and then it's going to sign the value of that number into this storage of memory here and that that piece of memory the the the, uh, the editor is automatically going to assign that to a slot of memory in your computer so that we can then use it later on um, so now we've got these two numbers, we can do some really cool things with them. Um, so we can go, uh, let's, let's put 
So num1. In fact, let's make a third number. So dim num3 as integer. So we can then put num3 equals. We can use the, the values that we've been given in these two numbers here. So let's make num3 equal to num1 plus num2. Now you might be thinking here, um, this is going to make them say that that one's, those ones are both equal to kind of half of that one. Um, but that's not how this equal signs work. It's not it's not saying these equal each other because they don't. Num3 at the moment is just no, it doesn't have anything in it. Um, this is an assignment operator, so it's taking whatever's on the right hand side. It's going to carry out all of the actions on the right hand side and it's going to assign them to the left hand side. So this is going to say um, take num1, add it to num2, and then stick it in num3. And then num3 now has a value in it that we can use. So let's just put message box, open bracket, and then our prompt, rather than put in apostrophes like this, um, as our text, just put in num3, close brackets. And then what this is going to do is it's going to, instead of passing, uh, instead of passing num3 to the message box, it's actually going to take the value of num3 and it's going to put it into our message box. Um, so let's just press play on this. So please put your first number, let's put 50. Click OK. Please put your second number, 25. OK. And it's going to add them up and give us the total of 75. Um, and we can do we can do quite a few other operations as well. So let's do another message box. Um, and this time I'm going to take one number away from the other. So rather than having a interim number here, I'm just going to go straight into doing my calculation. So num1 minus num2 goes off. Um, and then what this is going to do, it's because I've got this operator here, it's going to work out this bit first, uh, and then it's going to give me the value of the first one minus the second one. So let's get rid of that. Um, and press play. So let's put in 10 and second number 5, and it's going to come out with the answer 5. So it took our number 1, took our number 2, and then down here it did number 1 minus number 2, and then I'm going to play that out on the screen. Um, you can kind of do half and half, so um, let's say we want to put some text here, so uh, the difference between your numbers is and you want that in speech marks and put a little space in so that it's not next to each other and then in order to connect these together we just want to put an ampersand um, and then it's going to get a bit confusing now you're not going to know whether it's going to ampersand them together and then minus that together um, and rather than having to remember which operators come first my advice is just always stick some some brackets in. Um, so put it and say that it's going to work out that that number first, and then it's going to add it onto here. So you might be wondering why I haven't explained this. So this is an ampersand. So whenever you're connecting two lots of uh, text bits together, so we've got one set of text here, another bit of uh, what's going to be text when it comes out in the message box here. We just put this ampersand in the middle, and it kind of adds like add works as kind of adding them together. So let's press play on this. So please input your first number, ten, and your second number five, and the difference between your numbers is five. So this just shows how you can add kind of a, a standard set of uh, information, on, and you can combine it with uh, one of your variables that you've stored. Um, so let's see how much time we've got. Okay, so that was, I'm going to stop this tutorial for now. We're going to carry on going through some different types in the next tutorial. Um, so uh, thanks for listening. If you enjoy my videos, please, please, please subscribe. Um, and I hope to catch you soon.